All right. Uh, thank you very much, Coach, and uh, good afternoon. Thank you for making it for this important press conference as football returns, the NetBank Cup, this coming weekend. Maybe let's just get your opening remarks heading into the match on Saturday against Pete Vets. Yeah, uh, thanks, Fatou. Yeah. Um... As I said before, uh, it's, a, it's our new normal life. Um, a, um, what can I say? A, a position that we have never ever been in our lifetime. You know, maybe in future we might be again be in the same position, but uh, it's a strange position for football because nobody has been in this space before how we deal with issues. So for me to tell you, we are ready. Um, we know what to do. We know how we're going to handle this. I am not brave enough to can say that. I've, I've read a lot of uh, interviews from coaches saying they are ready for everything. I don't know if you are ready, but uh, I can tell you of what I know. What I know is um yeah we've been as i said we started wrong wrong type of training uh, not knowing thinking that we're starting on the 18th 15th or 18th of july if i'm not mistaken and then we overloaded players and then we got some injuries and um and then we thought maybe it's august 1st uh, which was suggested uh, uh, obviously not officially, that um, we might play August 1st, and that date was just a date. That was not a date um, that every collectively, everybody was into it. And then we changed again our focus from, from the 15th to the 1st and back to now where we are, which is now the official date that we all know. So you got to understand that uh, we have prepared the team uh, wrong at the base, at the beginning, because we we were preparing, uh, you know, quickly. That if the if the game starts in 10, 12 days, because of that time, uh, uh, or 14 days, because of that time, I think we got a green light from the PSL to train on the third or second of of July, and then we were rushing to say, okay. The games happened on the 15th because there was that date also from that was spoken about. <clears throat> so we loaded the players and then we had challenges, we had injuries. And then when, when we heard that there's a possibility of playing in the 1st of August, then we changed the program again. And then there's no 1st of August, then now is the official one, which is on Saturday. So you got to understand how you prepare the team it's totally different and you're getting different reactions from the body because uh, the body hasn't done nothing for the last three and a half months. So that has been a challenge. But be as it may, we, we are where we are now. And uh, yeah, we've had our few injuries. We've got Alimenza injured. Um, uh, the next two days will give us, an, or, uh, we'll make an assessment if he's available. We have um, Annele injured, no training. We had um, um, Kapinga injured, of course, uh, he's not playing. Um, we have um, other players been injured. I think we've been updating the injuries uh, of the team. But we've got Kelez was injured, also out. Um, Nasi Mendo's got a niggling injury. Yeah. Those are the, the players that we had um, who were out of because of injuries. And then we had also players who could not train um, because they tested positive uh, for, for COVID-19. And we did not have them. We had to isolate them. And they were not part of training. Yeah, and we had other guys who were just sick, you know, flu because it's the winter, 
It's winter space. It has nothing to do with COVID. And um, they came back. <coughs> yeah, and then we have um, Mauricio Stark also in, in Uruguay, Afonso. We are not able to get him. Um, we've got Tapelo still out injured. He's there, but we don't want to risk him. He can play, he's training with us, he's kicking, but uh, you know, um, it's very important to have him once and you don't want him to go out and break down and then you regret all all the five, four months, five months that he's been gone through. So, yeah, and uh, we had Dennis with niggling injury also. And um, yeah, so far so good, you know, we, we we have that, but and I think it's normal for anybody or any team to be having such a long. I mean, I've been talking for about three four minutes uh, at this point in time, and uh, I haven't let even ask you to ask me the next question. So I'm giving you updates and also training. Yeah, I mean, training in small groups, players, strange things. You know, players sitting there, the other ones. I think you see the images. Um, from our um, media department. Um, we have done only one video analysis. Uh, and also on the video analysis, it's also that uh, social distancing and you wait for a certain time because you can't be in a closed room. So we do it outside and you know, there's, there's a reflection of the sun and then you can't have uh, the, the visuals proper. We wait for that space between five and six, that 45 to 15 minutes. And then we, we go in there, we did it once. And you must also understand when you do it outside it's cold and players can get flu. So we did it once, the doctor said, cut it. We might get a lot of players with flu now. You, you got to understand how the football under COVID-19, how strange it is. We, we don't have team spirit in the camp because we, we're eating within two hours. This one pops in, eats, this one goes out. Sometimes you are alone in the dining hall and uh, where are your colleagues that you always eat with? You know, can't make nice groups when you pray before the training sessions. It's a lot of things uh, you can say, I'm making, I'm saying a lot of excuses and I think you don't want to hear that. Maybe you just want to know if you are ready to play and I can answer that quickly if you want. So ready, I'm not sure. Let's see the football under COVID-19. If we're ready, uh, I've got my expectations from what I've been seeing football under COVID-19 on TV. So I can I can presume and, and and say all that. But we will have 11 players on the pitch. We will have 11, I mean, five subs. We'll have uh, all the protocols of COVID-19 uh, observed and we will play. All right, uh, thank you very much, Coach, for those opening remarks. I'll take questions from the floor. Colleagues, you just need to raise your hand or type on the chat function. Uh, I'll, the first question will be Mazola. Uh, hi, Coach. Uh, coach, um, just, just wanted to find out um, if you've had an opportunity to, uh, to you know, have a look at Dobsonville Stadium. I don't know if you've left Rustenburg yet, but have a look at Dobsonville Stadium and watch what your expectations are and just the number of games that you're going to play in such a short space of time. I suppose it ties into what you've been saying about whether you are ready or not. Yeah, Dobsonville Stadium. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've sent uh, my people there, the people who look after Troco fishes and all that. Uh, I told them their next office is, is no longer Troco, their next office is in Thompsonville Stadium. So they must be there 95 and help the ground men and make sure that the pitch is ready and uh, if it's in a proper condition because, because you've been given a, a pitch, a, a venue to play at. And you can't be pu putting an excuse or passing the park on anybody else. So you know where you're playing. So you must look after the pitch. So I, I told them, I asked them, if you could, you know, put the lawn mowers and put the, the small, uh, uh, you know, you've got these trucks that cut the grass. If you could take everything to, to, 
to to Dalton Blue Stadium, you know, and you know those challenges. I can coach. We cannot leave the equipment in in the township because we are playing in the township. You know, we're not playing in Ellis Park. We're not playing FNB. We're not playing. We're playing in the township. So we are. Is the draw? The draw said not go to the township. So we are there. So and there are challenges of of township. You know the story. I grew up in the township. There are, there are, there are challenges. In, in that, and uh, you got to make sure that you if things are right. So, but I don't think the pitch is very bad because I got the images, uh, and Vets was playing there in the same place that we are playing. Uh, so we we should not complain a lot because Vets was playing there. So, but Vets was playing there before COVID. It's a different story after COVID because everything changes. You know, to to that level to say. You know, you just uh, sometimes, uh, Mazola, you just get uh, paranoid about this thing. Oh, is the groundsman tested for COVID-19? Because I'm going to be talking to that guy. Uh, I'm going to be working with him on the pitch to say, what do we have here? So, you know, those protocols, those things are also part of these things, you know. And, okay, tested, but where does he stay? You know, who does he talk to as I, I'm here in Rustenburg? Where we are, where we we, we 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 try to take the team away from the the epicenter, but I need the guy to help me uh, over there. So it's part of it. It's a it's a, it's a challenge, man. It's a it's a challenge. It's a, it's a football under COVID nineteen. So that's what we have. I don't know.